Thousands of people in cars lined up as they waited to collect turkeys and meal boxes for Thanksgiving. Some were there for food and others were just there to help out. This year is particularly unusual for St. Mary's Food Bank's turkey drive as they have seen a decrease in turkey donations to meet their goal. So we should have enough for today and tomorrow, but if we don't receive more turkey donations from the public, we probably won't have enough on Wednesday. This explanation for lower than normal donations might even surprise you. I think that so many people have given to so many great causes over the last few months with all of the earthquakes and floods and, and uh, fires that have happened. We've had a lot of disasters here in the last few months. A lot of people have opened their hearts as rightly so they should. St. Mary's Food Bank will be out here all week in the days leading up to Thanksgiving, and while there are short turkey donations this time of the year, they're not short on volunteer work. We have more than 260 volunteers that are helping us over the three days. Over the three days, by the time we close our doors at noon on Wednesday, 12,000 families will be able to receive a turkey and all the trimmings that you need for a great Thanksgiving meal. Not only did people give back by donating turkeys, people like Daniel Orozco gave their time. I so love coming out, volunteering. My wife and I both get involved in the community. Very fortunate to what we have, so we love giving to others and spending a little bit of time. The meals provider will hopefully give people a chance to have a great Thanksgiving, like the one Orozco will be having. So this year we're spending it with my in-laws for Thanksgiving, and then uh, my parents live up north, so we go up for north for Christmas, rotate the holidays every year. They are still accepting donations, as they are over a thousand short of their goal of 7,000 turkeys. In Phoenix, this is Jimmy Jackson.